Our guest today, folks, is uh, Azum Ranguwala. You're going to love this man. Uh, Azum is the uh, CEO of Powerboat P1 Management. Uh, this is an internationally recognized organization responsible for a number of world-class powerboat and jet, jet ski racing competitions. Uh, bottom line, folks, is that I saw these guys in St. Pete. Um, Tommy, myself, and my grandchild, we were actually at the Vinoy all weekend long with them. So we had a blast watching these guys take off. Azum, welcome to TFNN. Hi there, how are you? Uh, listen, man, you guys got a great crew, number one. And next time you're coming, we're going to get you on a few times. Because you know what blows my mind? It was just too bad. We sh there should have been even more marketing. I mean, because I mean, we live in St. Pete anyway, and you know, there's always great things happening. But it was like amazing. Like I think most of us realized that only four or five days before you were coming that you were here. You know, so you put on a great show. But tell tell us tell us about exactly what you do and what you do with cities coming into cities. Yeah, for sure. So uh, Power P1 has been around since 2003. Um, I'm actually sitting in London right now uh, at our London offices. It's quarter to nine uh, in the evening. I love uh, it. <laughs> just come on and talk to you. Uh, Thank you. And yeah, we, uh, we've been, like I said, running races since 2003. We have an international operation uh, based out of London. Um, and then obviously we've got our, our Orlando offices, which uh, head up the US operation. And basically um, the US consists of six, six powerboat race events that, that we're involved in, which is all and then we have our Aquacross series, which is our jet ski racing. And they also have six events, which are US events, um, which then lead all into some international events as well. So yeah, to be honest on the St. Pete event, we've been working, I actually went to downtown St. Pete seven years ago, where I met with Tony Lino to take a look at the venue. And that was obviously before the peer renovation happened. Yes. Uh, many people had told me that this is the best racing venue that you can find, you know, in, in America. And that there has historically been racing there, you know, for many, many years, um, yeah. pre 2004. Yes. Um, you know, and at that time, like, uh, as everybody knows, obviously the pier hadn't gone under its renovation. You know, we took a few steps forward um, and it took us a couple of years, but we eventually um, created a partnership with Visit St. Pete Clearwater, which was a great partnership. Um, we went through the we went through the various um, channels in order to you know set up um, a race a potential race course and everything and, and like I said initially we were we were always looking towards downtown St. Pete but there were some issues that we had to you know overcome and probably to do with the pier I believe in the past you know with some racing that happened there you know they had some environmental issues. So, you know, we worked it out and basically we ended up racing in uh, St. Pete Beach for a few years um, with our Aquacross series and a one design racing series that we had. And obviously once we saw that the pier had, you know, been renovated, we said, you know, I said, look, this is our chance again yes. to go again and, and let's talk to Tony and see what we can do. Yeah. Um, and the St. Pete team were also really uh, instrumental in helping us, you know, pull this all together. So we had their support. Actually, if you uh, if you saw and were at the races, one of the ra Aquacross racers and one of the power boats were wrapped in Visit St. Pete Clearwater colors and run the entire circuit um, as the official Visit St. Pete Clearwater team. So we're always promoting, you know, the destination. You know, I, I, I heard you mention, you know, from a marketing standpoint, and yeah, to be honest, first time event, um, you know, we wanted to make sure operationally we have everything, we had everything locked down, um, and you know, we wanted to come in with a bang, which I'm glad that we did, and I'm glad that you saw it. Um, we worked really closely with, you know, Ferdian um, and the guys at um, City Events, down, uh, big events down at the pier as well. Yes. So, we also did a partnership with the Tampa Bay Watch, so we made a lot of good inroads. And you know, we look at this as a long-term partnership. We want to be racing on Labor Day weekend downtown St. Pete every year for years to come. So yeah, well, I'm going to make sure that I get out there. I, listen, I'm, I wasn't putting that on you uh, because there's so much happening in the city. It's amazing. Even that we have beautiful fireworks, and they don't market that enough. But I, you're going to get marketed because, folks, I'm telling you. 
if you if you like boats and you like racing, they put on a great show. I actually got to you know be with some of these racers because we just happened to be at the same hotel. I didn't know you guys were going to be the Vinoy. We were there, and they're just great people. I mean, just in general, you know, they're they're really great people. Um, so here, let's talk about so because we have plenty of listeners around the country. So Fort Myers is next. Is that right? Correct. Fort Myers Beach is next. Um, it's the seventh through the ninth. Um, so in Fort Myers Beach, the difference is that the racing all happens on Saturday. Okay. There'll be some testing on the Friday, and on the seventh, which is the Thursday, there'll be you know they do a, a street party there as well, which you can again go and you know touch and feel the boats. So. And then it's we get Key event. West after that. So then Key, then we go to Key West, right? That's a great place to. That's a great place to do anything. But <laughs> racing boats is cool. So the Key West event, that's going to be. I can't. Is that the 16th, 14th? That's actually that. That's a week long event that starts on the 7th of November and goes through all the way to the 14th. And that has racing Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Key West event has been going on for 30 years plus. Wow. As is some of our other ones, um, and uh, you know, we raced in Sarasota earlier in the year, um, and that was his 36th year as well. So, yeah, some of these events have been around for a very, very long time. And like I said, you know, with downtown St. Pete, that was historically an amazing venue. So, you know, we're in the process of trying to, you know, like you said, really create a buzz around the whole circuit and really appreciate you helping us you know promote and talk about some of the other race sites as well no doubt and you know can you talk about the crews a bit because i know this takes a lot of work i mean i saw them when they actually came in then i saw the trucks coming out if you saw that how this works folks i mean this is pretty incredible so where where how do you pick up these crews i mean this is this is a very expensive endeavor right in order to go from city to city to make people happy mainly make us happy <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i mean you know our race you know management crew you know they've been around for a long time um you know they we've, we've slowly grown the race management team i mean from the safety perspective a lot of the guys who are doing the safety on the water are you know fire um fire department uh emts and paramedics that you know really uh are the best you know safety divers and rescue that you can get and We've worked with them for a long time. They go through special training earlier in the year. In terms of the race teams, yeah, I mean, you know, from all over, really. And this year has been different, and obviously last year was different um, because usually we have a lot of international participation. Um, and I think that next year you're going to see that happen again. And people globally are tuning in to watch this. I mean, we had a team from Dubai that was racing with us. There's two teams from Australia that are looking at racing again with us next nice. year. So, you know, it's really an international field, but also, obviously, there's a lot of Florida-based race teams. Um, you know, a lot of them based in the Sarasota, Bradenton area, kind of homegrown from that race being allowed for such a long time. Yes, um, well, we're going to make sure that we get you on a good month ahead of time next year. This has been awesome. Their website, folks, is p1offshore.com.